everybody, this is Kevin TheCraveOrange.com and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about motivation. Um, I got this uh, in one of my camera clubs here recently. Um, someone asked, they go, how do you keep motivated and keep from getting depressed and this and that? And my answer was, you know, everybody goes through down phases. You have cycles that where you go high, cycles that you go low. And it's how you deal with your low cycles. Um, it kind of tells a lot about you. Um, I've suffered with depression stuff basically my whole life, and I didn't really know it for a long time until I, uh, until I went to the doctor after 9/11. They kind of, oh well, you kind of suffer. So, I'd, so I'm not medicated, but you know, if I needed to, I would do it. But the thing is, you sometimes when you're low, 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 it's really hard to pull yourself out of it. I know that, and I, there's a lot of times where I'll just. I'll be in the studio and I'll just lock the door and I'll just want to be alone and that's okay. But you can do different things to help yourself get motivated again. And sometimes it's just changing things up. Um, <laughs> you guys have probably noticed that I change gear a lot. Um, seems like every year, year and a half, I'll change all my gear. Well, part of the reason I do that is just to change things up. It's something new and exciting. You know, it's like when you've been shooting as long as I have, a new camera is like an exciting thing. Um, now obviously everybody can't do that, but what you can do is go into your camera bag and there's that one lens that you just never use you just go I don't even know why I have that lens guess what take that lens stick it on your camera shoot with it for the next month um, and it's amazing what just a different point of view will do for you um, get out and shoot something that you would never ever shoot like I'm a people shooter um, and I went out with a, with a group and we did street photography. And oh my gosh, I suck at street photography. But it was hilarious um, going out and it you know, made me laugh and it made everybody laugh because you know, most of us weren't real good at street photography, but it was kind of fun to do. Um, so just do things like that to change it up. And, you know, go out, get up early in the morning and go out and shoot. If you don't ever do that, you know, before work, get up at sunrise, go out and shoot for an hour. Um, just do something, anything different to get you out of the doldrums. Because I know eventually here it's going to start raining in Oregon and then it's going to be really hard to be motivated um, and you know change is hard and like right now my whole uh, what I do is changing and it's hard some days to come in because you know you know you're you're marketing you're marketing you're marketing and the shoots may not be coming in as fast as you want but you have to stay shooting that's another thing do personal projects um, one of the things that kind of got me through this time this transition time back in the commercial photography is I have this tattoo project which you guys have probably seen that I've been posting. Um, I just have an ongoing project that anybody with a tattoo, if they come in, I'll shoot them. Okay, and I just shoot them. I give them files as long as they sign a model release. Um, they can do with files what they want. I don't care. This is just for my personal project. So start a personal project that can just be ongoing. That's just something. And this thing has kind of gone in the, its own direction. It was just going to be a few people I was going to shoot. And it's been going on for, gosh, almost a year now. And it's like really cool. I mean, I'm shooting all these different people. I'm finding out all these different things about tattoos. I don't have a single tattoo, but I'm finding out all this stuff about tattoos that I never knew. Um, and then I'm meeting really interesting people because there's people that do all sorts of strange jobs that have uh, a lot of tattoos. So anyway, so there's some ideas on how to motivate motivate yourself. Um, like I said, I totally understand it. I go through days where it's like I said, like I just lock the key, lock the door, and I just go want to be left alone. So, um, but you got to pull yourself up by your bootstraps and find things to do um, because an idle mind, you know, is a is a scary thing. It can just like do go all, go all sorts of weird places. So if you use that negative energy and trying to turn it into a positive thing, uh, it's definitely going to help you out in the long run. So there you go. I hope that helps a little bit. If you're depressed or if you're just, you know, you've kind of hit a uh, plateau with your photography and you're trying to do the next thing and you just can't figure out how to do it, uh, there's some ideas for you. So anyway, Kevin, CraveArms.com. Take care. Bye-bye.